Hello guys, welcome back to part 3 of our series. So this series is going to deal with, we're going to handle animation. So animation you're going to start by adding a plane effector to the first letter J. And then name it to, name it as plane effector. We are not going to animate the actual text itself, but we are going to drive the animation using more graph effectors. So we are going to name, we are going to add the plane effector and then add it to the letters. And then what you are going to do is uh, go to fall off and change it to linear fall off. So this is what happens. So once you change it to linear fall off, you can now animate the position of the fall off from left to right, um, uh, from right to left. So this one is going to be set keyframe at 0, then move it to 10, and then all the way until the letter comes back. Yeah, so something like that. So what you're going to do, you're going to the plane effector itself, and under parameters, you're going to change, you're going to adjust the Z. You want it to come way out of the screen, and then back so we're going to move it way out so it goes like that and then rotation we are going to do which one should we go with so the rotation we are going to do rh yeah rh so we're going to have 180 i think we should have like maybe a negative yeah i think a negative 180 we're going to have a negative 180 there and then something like that so same thing you do to these other ones so you just have that um, then you need to bring it close to that and then you add it on the text letter drag and drop it in there adjust the keyframes until all the letters have been all the letters are revealed you need to repeat the same process for, for all the texts and then i so i'm going to fast forward when I'm done with the text and I show you how to do them on the other elements. Okay, so we've done the same to all the text. So let's uh, I'll show you how to add it on. So you need to add fracture. So put the BG inside as a child of the fracture. So what fractures allow you to do is to use more graph effectors to drive your animation. So anything put under inside the fracture, you can use more graph effectors to drive whatever is in there. It, the animation of whatever is in that group. So this is how we are going to do it. So we've put fracture and name, renamed it duplicated one of the planers and rename it as town bg so now when you select the fracture it gives you an option of including a, a more graph a more graph effect in this case we're using the plane effect so now if you look at it now if you look at it see now the background is also animated but we are not touching it's animation you can move it anywhere we want but the animation still remains the same so that's an, another way another benefit of actually animating using the the effect more graph effectors so we are going to do we are going to animate the zero again by adding a fracture rename move it close to zero rename it 
before you renaming it, adjusting it to where zero is. And then and then renaming it to zero and then putting zero inside as a child. So with it selected, see it allows you there now you can even be able to add effectors to animate whatever is in there as a child. So you select the zero, then add an effector there. And then now you can adjust keyframes to have your animation. So see now after can adjust it to time it when town comes like that and forget to save man so yeah so we go to the main speaker you're going to do the same thing and we're going to do the same thing for the note the music note so we're going to add a fracture object Graph fracture, call it main speaker, and then put put the speaker inside it, all the elements of the speaker, and then now you can actually duplicate one of these plane effectors and use them to drive animation of the speaker elements so i'm going to just rename this plane effector to main and then select the fracture and then drag and drop that effector already you see just one drag and drop already you have the animation just need to adjust the keyframes to have it so if you select that and you go to you can adjust that and update the key yeah so you have something like that but there are two things we've not animated the main speaker the main speaker is, is has been animated but you want when the main speaker hits the screen the note follows and then the rest of the text also follows so that's what you're going to do next so then we need to change it's the rotation of the main speaker under parameters so you'll have something different from the rest yeah something like that and then we go to notes so we're going to go to music note Just thinking of just duplicating and then renaming this put that inside there and then rename it to music music not i'm gonna just name it as not yeah so this is a note we're going to duplicate the main yeah and then use it drive the animation of the knot. So just want to be sure that i'm dragging the correct plane effector so this one controls that and then this should be controlled by that yes so we need to adjust its, its plane, so we call this one not, so that we know what drives what. Yeah, so we have that. It's quite fast right now, but when we change a few things, you'll see the difference. Yeah, so we have that. So another thing we need to adjust is which one comes first. So we'll go to timeline dope sheet. So here is where you get everything but for now you see all our linear fields are just named linear fields you don't know which one drives what so we need to go to our linear fields and also name them according to whatever they are driving so um we are going to change it to am uh, town we are going to change it to main 
and then you're going to change this one to not and then you're going to change uh, the point here you're going to change this one to zero just renaming so that when you go to the timeline loop sheet you know what are you adjusting what are you moving forward in the timeline what are you taking back in the timeline so this one is going to be bg speaker bg of the town yes so if you go back to the top now you have everything but you know that what should start is so everything moves away and then you know the main should start oh, I was trying, I'm trying to move it down okay so this one no, it can't ah, I don't think it can be moved down the hierarchy so this one should be the first one so it comes first yeah so it comes first so, but I need it to come even more faster, so like there, so it comes fast, and then, and then, the note next. Uh oh, <sighs> is it not moving? Just oh, yeah, moving it out a little. And then select uh, select that last key only and then move it so you have the main speaker note j um down yes save close so now the next part is we want to add uh we want to add delay so this delay is what will smoothen our animations but you're going to start with the the first one is uh, the main, the main speaker. So on the parameters of the delay, we go to effectors, and then increase the strength. So we have, yeah. So now the speaker is the first to animate, but it comes after the note. So you see what delay does there. Delays it, the strength of 80, so you have it doing that so you're just going to hard delay to all of them so delay move it close to what it affects and then adjust it to because the other one was 80 maybe move this one also to 80 yeah you see something like that maybe move it further yeah you see now it's smooth transition like a easy in is is in yes so you need to adjust that that's okay so you need to go again and add it to the j that's the next one move it close to what it affects Maybe this one we just rename it to j and then adjust that yeah so you have something like that That's, that's that's okay the timing is okay then move that again to this one is am name adjust the delay this is how it looks yeah so the only thing that now is moving faster the town so we need to change that town so we need to change the town so we go to town and then add an effector delay and then move it close to what it affects or so just rename it to town so that when you'll be adjusting you know which one you're adjusting and which one does it affect so yeah we need to add to increase how it affects yeah something like that and then we go to we don't need this uh, no we don't need to touch those i think we just just remove the scale because we're not using any scale so i think now we're going to remove scale for all those other delay so we have it just affecting position and rotation because those are the only parameters we've adjusted on the 
on the plane effector so we go to town so that one is sorted you can just increase it a little to make it more smoother so yeah something like that so, and then we need to go to the zero plane effector delay and then bring it close to what it affects and then maybe rename it to zero so that you know so you know that this zero if i change it it will only affect the zero so then that one yeah something like that but we don't have it on the bg so you're going to add it also on the bg town bg so add delay factor yeah so but then we need to change it's quite okay but we need to change how it rotates we want it to rotate along the uh, the height instead of yeah so but then first let's see if our if we had a camera there so camera zooms out and then the letters are also revealed so like so set key zoom out yeah something like that so you can just move this close so that it happens more faster even adjust because you can't see now we can't see how the main is animating update now we need to do it more we need to adjust it some more move it out update key yeah something like that but then the bg the town bg is rotating along the along the width we need to rotate along the height so we'll change that to actually just say 180 and then you have that and really see the change though you can't really see the change oh ah wrong 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 effector we need to go to effector town bg then change that to 180 and then tada like that yeah now that is the animation now i think that's it for this series if you have any question comments uh something that i did that you didn't understand and you'd want me to clarify just leave a comment i'll make sure i read everything so this is how the render looks if you want to know more about arnold renderer you can just leave me a comment i'll be happy to help thank you for watching please share subscribe if you leave a like i wouldn't mind